Episode three, we're in Brisbane, Mean Jin. <laughs> and I got an amazing welcome to the country from Shannon Rusker and his family. They descend from the Yugira, Nunukol, and Yugambe people of Brisbane. Ian through the smoking and cleansing ceremony, which we call chummo or chummo, and chummo is a is something that the tribes do when uh, you're welcomed into the area. So we do it because uh, to so that you don't bring any bad negativity into our area. And the other thing is, from us uh, giving you that gift, it's our ancestors will follow you and make sure that you're guided on the country. Really grateful for such a sincere and generous welcome man. Shannon's pride in his culture is so tangible and he was telling me about how important the work that he's doing around Australia with educating people about their countries, cultures and history. It's vital, vital stuff. I needed to get some rest because tomorrow England versus Haiti. But first like I said, I need to relax man. This is the Crystal Brook Vincent. Look at this pool, look at this amazing view man. I love this. I can look, I can swim. I can swim. It's cold. Look how beautiful that is. It's like 23 degrees in the winter. Brisbane! Brisbane! Just took a walk around Howard Smith Wharfs. Such a cool place, right on the water. Lauren, look. We were right there in time to watch some of the USA versus Vietnam game. The, it, the, the Sophia Smith show, man. I told people about her. Oh, what a pass that was. Look, dolphin wearing glasses. <laughs> that art, man, look at the art around the space. People just chilling. It's cool. Coming back to hang. Met loads of different fans watching the game. Where's the camera? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so happy, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> Look at me and Javier, listen, getting close to England game versus Haiti. So I'm going to head back to the hotel before popping into the pub. I promised the England fans I'd come and I went, got pure love. Look at the love. Yeah, yeah, right, right, Man, right. I felt like I was in England. That's the British High Commissioner there, you know, giving love. Great vibes. Look how cool this coat is. The coat's cool, man. It's a bit hot though. Great atmosphere before the kickoff. Met this lady five years ago at a charity yeah, motorbike ride, you know. Yeah, Small world. Okay, there's Shannon, man. I was with him. Look at Shannon. I was with him yesterday with my friends on TV. Every game has an official opening and traditional blessing. Look at Junior, man, Haiti fan, came with pure vibes. Brilliant, man. Man supported his country, bro. Passionately, vehemently. Yes. To be honest with England, I don't know what I was expecting when you consider like four games, one including a, um, a behind closed doors. We ain't scoring goals, um, not creating enough. Haiti and the way they set up was, you have to give them credit for it. You know, I thought their goalkeeper, I know they gave it to Georgia Stanway, the, the player of the match, but I thought their goalkeeper was the player of the match. I thought um, Melchi de Mornay, she's obviously going to be some player. I think she's very impressive. Uh, Kefna Louise. Very good, and obviously I mentioned Curly Fierce. Really, really good in goal. They have to get a lot of credit for what they've done. They made it very difficult for us. Very organised, Haiti. We have to pass quicker. We're going to have to change something. I don't know what that's going to be, simply because we've got a manager that sticks to what she does. So it's going to be interesting to see 
what we're going to do next um, to try and break these teams down because people have seen how they can stop us. I'd like to see uh, Lauren James playing. We need more creation if we're not going to get it from build-up. So it's an interesting one. You know, we won the game. And that's what you take. That's the positive. Mary Earps, well done. Well done, Mary Earps.